This is Pasties Herb. We are a team on an assignment to build the fate of men and set their hearts on fire through the media system. With hundreds of insightful videos here on our channel, we hope to bless and bond with you. Don't forget to click the like button, turn on notifications, and subscribe. We love and celebrate you. Whoever you want. If you to want to be famous, lift, if God wants to Lord, lift you, you can and lift announce you through to the world me. from Nigeria, your feet Where must touch Lagos. There are two cities your feet must touch, Abelkuta and Lagos. If your feet does not touch it prophetically, your voice will not be heard from this nation because there is a covenant. In the realm of the spirit, Abelkuta gave birth to Lagos. Now, behold, I show you a mystery. Let me show you what it takes to carry power in this kingdom. And believe me, I don't claim to know everything, but this one, I know what I'm saying. Hallelujah. The Bible says that every man who ministers should minister according to the measure of grace. Let me show you what it takes to carry the power of the Holy Spirit. By this teaching tonight, someone's destiny is opening up because finally listen for some of you this is what you have seen in your dreams and visions this realm this dimension you have been saying lord in terms of the word and prayer that power dimension is the desperate need for my ministry now for my life now let me show you the key are you ready psalm 89 and verse 20. please media quickly project it for us and then I want you all to read the first four words. Please make sure it is the first four words. The first four words. Are you ready? One, two, read. One more time. One more time. For the last time now. Hmm. The Bible says, I have found David. But the anointing was not looking for David. There was a kind of person David needed to become for the anointing to find him. I have found David. But it is not David the anointing is looking for. The anointing is looking for my servant. I have found a man of God in Yola. But it is not a man of God that I am looking for. I have found John. I have found Joshua. I found him since 2001. But there is a kind of person the anointing and the mantle is looking for. He simply calls that person my servant. I have found that businessman. But it is not the businessman the anointing is looking for. It is looking for my servant. My servant is not a name. My servant is a journey that turns David to become a certain kind of vessel. Are we together now? There are many, many people who want the anointing. But they do not know that until you become his servant. Until you become his servant. Until you become his servant in business. His servant in ministry. His servant on the crusade ground. For as long as you are still David. David has his own ambition. David has his own destiny. David has his own dreams. You don't use the anointing to do your own thing. You must become my servant. Do you know the journey that translates David to his servant? The name given to that journey is death. Death to everything. I have found David. It was easy finding David. But I'm still finding my servant. I have found the woman. But I'm still looking for my servant to turn her into a prophetess. Hmm. I have found Yola, great preachers, Kaliga Barakos Yata. But I'm still looking for my servant. I'm showing you what has separated many people into spiritual cadres. There are some who are still David, wanting the anointing, but others have become his servants. Get this revelation and it will change your life forever. 
I have found a nice gentleman who has a beautiful musical voice but I'm still looking for my servant I have found someone who opened a pharmacy but I'm still looking for my servant the anointing does not come upon men the anointing comes upon his servants let's go back to that scripture please help four people they will start running now by the anointing i just saw the spirit of grace like a dove just came upon four people and it's an empowerment by the spirit please help them so they don't injure themselves but they are going to start running right now by the spirit Please help them. Enter Kri Haskadela to Shavra Hasia. Kre Kadusha Brandi Gebeleko Siata. Kragabede Gedebeleke to Shavra Skatebelentasia. Now listen, I want you to pay attention. Your life is about to change. There is a dimension of glory you are being immersed into. Your ministry and your life will never be the same. The old you is about to give way to a new you that is carrying potent genuine spiritual power by wisdom oh god heaven's gates open up with understanding you order the seasons creating day and night turning darkness into light Arranging the stars to your pleasing Hear me For as long self and flesh is still there it is not the anointing of the spirit that will rest upon you maybe something else can come upon you I have found give us that scripture David but I'm looking for my servant so for 20 years in ministry you have been David that is the reason why the anointing the mantle of your destiny the, the mantle has hovered around your church it has hovered around Yola it has hovered around homes searching for servants listen to me let's finish that scripture finally David becomes his servant and the Bible says with my holy oil I have anointed that servant next verse reading to 24 with whom my hand shall be established my arm shall also strengthen him by reason of the anointing the enemy shall not exert upon him nor the son of wickedness afflict him 23 i will beat down his foes before his face and plague them that hate him it says but my faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him and in my name shall his authority be exalted. Listen to me. Listen to me. Do you know why Jesus was not anointed from birth? Do you know why Jesus was not anointed from age 12? Because the Bible says he had to learn obedience by the things he suffered. Even your Jesus did not get anointed just because he was the son of God he had to go through the pathway I have found Jesus but I'm looking for the one who is prepared to serve the will of the father and until it's 30 before that anointing came let me tell you this there is no limit to what God can do in your life there is no limit to the, um, the degree of unction and grace that can come upon you the key is death that turns ordinary men to become servants you know what it means to be a servant the hallmark of servanthood is that you lose the ability to tell God no everything that comes from him is yes 
for as long as you still have your agenda for as long as you still have your pride for as long as you still have your ministry it is not the anointing from heaven that comes upon you tonight God sent me here to tell someone he has found you but he's looking for his servant he's looking for his servant oh he's looking for his servant to turn you into a genuine apostle a genuine prophet a genuine businessman so in this miracle and impartation service listen carefully it is not just about shouting amen something must die in your heart it says in the year that king uzziah died i isaiah saw the lord something has to die for you to see in the year that my pride died i saw the lord in the year that flesh died i saw the lord you cannot see him when there are two kings one king must die uzziah had to die to see the other king there cannot be two thrones in your heart no listen carefully i wish i had the time to begin to tell you my journey in the spirit and my journey with god <sighs> but this anointing that we have downplayed that we have limited to just falling down and standing up or limited to just calling names and prophesying as wonderful as that is let me tell you there are layers and there are dimensions and there are levels of the anointing there are virgin dimensions that god wants to i hope you know that the prophecy upon the church age is that the former and the latter reign do you know what that means there are mantles this i hope you know mantles do not leave the earth to heaven no no every mantle you read in the bible is still on earth but there is a kind of believer that must carry it and it's not by claiming is by the sacrifice of death help those under the anointing spirit of god is pruning and circumcising men i believe that is yola is stepping into a prophetic a very prophetic season i truly believe that that there are men and women who are rising by the spirit men and women who are dead enough to carry these end time mantles it will take being more than a preacher it will take being more than a man of god it will take being more than a businessman it is for those who have vowed to serve the purposes of the king in life and in death hallelujah sit down for five minutes please let me establish two more things about the anointing and then we'll pray be sensitive something is happening here we see the rain of your love we feel the wind of your spirit now the heartbeat of heaven let us hear I see the rain of your love I feel the wind of your spirit Now the heartbeat of heaven Let us hear So let it rain Let it rain Open the flood Open the floodgates of heaven. Open the flood gates. I raised that song because I saw a vision. I just saw a vision of rain coming. 
and the scripture that came to me is until the spirit be poured upon us from on high and then the wilderness shall be counted for a fruitful vine and a fruitful vine for a forest you see the rain see the rain your ministry is about to receive that dew of Hammon afresh again now please sit down fire is burning in this place I need to show you two things before we begin to pray fire is burning in this place finally his majesty is finding his servant where are all those young men in your prayer groups God has brought you here it's time to be ignited by fire by the spirit of the living God it's been a season of training with the spirit now it's time for your eyes to see to see afresh to see afresh Open the floodgates of heaven. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Listen. Many of you, let me explain something to you. Don't think that you are, I'm wasting your time. What is happening to you is that you are being immersed. There is a kind of glory. You know how you marinate something? because you want to fry it or you want to cook it this is what is happening to you these songs are not just special numbers i'm not a musician they are ladders in the spirit there is an ascendance that is happening to your spirit man as you are under this influence it said there is as it were many voices and none of them is without signification Oh, come, oh, come, me, man, you well, and run some captivity, Israel. Oh, come, oh, come, me, man, you well, and run some captivity, Israel. Rejoice, rejoice. Emmanuel Yola has come to you He's Israel Spirit of the Sovereign Lord Come and make your presence known Reveal the glory of the risen Lord up the sovereign Lord come and make your presence come reveal the glory of there are five people God is showing me five people you are all ladies I'm seeing a very strong mantle prophetic psalmistry this is what is coming upon you I call deep to be unlocked within your spirit man in the name of Jesus Christ Shaleke paruka siata, ta da 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 da, ta da 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 da. Get out of your belly, shall.
flow rivers, rivers of living water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out of your belly shall flow rivers, rivers of living water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of your city shall flow rivers, rivers of living water. Hallelujah.